In this video, we look at some industrial applications of equilibrium reactions. The economics of a chemical process depend on the equilibrium position and the kinetics of the reaction. So the two chemical processes we'll look at are the harbour process for the manufacture of ammonia, which is used to make fertiliser, and the contact process for the manufacture of sulfuric acid. So the first process we look at is the harbour process. So nitrogen reacts with hydrogen to form ammonia in a reversible reaction and the delta H for this reaction is negative so it's an exothermic reaction. So we'll have a look at the conditions for the reaction starting with concentration. So the ammonia is removed as soon as it is formed causing the equilibrium to shift to the right producing more NH3 and that increases the yield. Next is pressure. The forward reaction involves a decrease in gas molecules. We have four gas molecules on the left and two on the right. Therefore is favoured by a high pressure. The pressure used is 200 atmospheres, that's 200 times atmospheric pressure. A higher pressure would be more expensive and dangerous to maintain even though it would result in a higher yield. Temperature. The forward reaction is exothermic, therefore is favoured by a low temperature. However, too low a temperature would cause a slow rate of reaction. And finally the catalyst. The catalyst used is iron, Fe. The yield is not increased but the equilibrium will be reached more quickly. Next is the contact process. Sulphur dioxide reacts with oxygen to form sulphur trioxide. This is just one reaction from the contact process but this reaction determines the rate of reaction. The delta H is negative so it's an exothermic reaction. So let's have a look at the conditions for the contact process. Pressure. The forward reaction involves a reduction in the number of gas molecules therefore is favoured by high pressure. We have three gas molecules on the left and we have two gas molecules on the right. Next is temperature. The forward reaction is exothermic therefore is favoured by a low temperature. However, a low temperature would increase the yield but decrease the rate. And finally the catalyst, V2O5 or vanadium 5 oxide increases the rate of reaction but not the yield.